Boys and girls, they say, you can't raise them the same way. People call us Venus and Mars, two sides of the same coin. But those slips of metal have grooves and edges, people with mismatched bodies and minds, sons who don't feel like sons, some zeros in a sea of ones, there's a question to ask. When this begun, this programmed way of gender presenting, when 59% of trans people under 26 have considered suicide, 48% actually attempting. To end their lives before it really begins, we sing songs about our pain, write books that remain unpublished, where's the justice? When 62% of us lean on alcohol to function, we are not zeros and ones. We are not black and white. We are a sea of numbers, an ocean of colour that dazzles those that look upon it. We are songs and sonnets, human beings are art, we are as diverse as the world we inhabit, as scattered and unique as the universe. Don't pigeonhole us, or keep us in boxes, it's absurd when there is so much beauty there. In the boys wearing dresses, and the people like me who were born with mixed up pinks and blues, colours in their hair, feeling uncomfy in their shoes. There's no one zero one. It's two, three, four, and five people in any shape or size. We are big and bright and extraordinary, full of colour, better for every touch of variety, anything but black and white. We are anything, anything but binary. And it occurred to me that we're, we're talking about fear versus love. We're talking about fear versus freedom. And I didn't intend to say this today, but Excuse me. <laughs> My beautiful, now 22-year-old child told me last year that they were gender nonconforming. And over the last year, I have come to understand from a deeply personal mother's perspective. I've always been a civil rights activist. I've always fought for my constituents and my communities to have equal rights. But from a mother's perspective, I came to understand what their newfound freedom, it is the only way I can describe what has happened to my beautiful child, what their newfound freedom to wear a dress, to rid themselves of some conformist stereotype of who they are, to be able to express who they are at their real core. And since this deeply impactful moment last year, my child, who has always done well in school, but has carried what a mother can only describe as a heavy burden of conflict in their own being that I could not fully identify or help to express. Since this deeply impactful moment last year, my child's embracing of their non-conforming gender identity and all that it has allowed, all that it allows in terms of their creativity, their brilliance, their self-expression, the only thought I wake up with every day is my child is free. My child is free to be who they are. And in that freedom comes a responsibility for us as legislators to protect that freedom to be who they are and to legislate, as Dr. Wiley so beautifully said, to legislate our behavior towards all people in our society. Hand on your chest, teach me how to respect your figure Put me to the test, stop me if I get close to your triggers First touch, woke up So different. Ask me who I'm with, I'm with them. But it was a woman, now a real gentleman. Don't need a label when I'm lying on the skin. Ask me who I'm with, I'm with them. Love the scars on your chest as our bodies undress. I'll be the 96. 
Look at me when you're coming. Okay, I must confess that I'm kind of obsessed with you under the sheets. Give me both sides of what I need. Ask me who I'm with, I'm with them. But it was a woman, now a real gentleman. Don't need a label when I'm lying on the skin. Ask me who I'm with, I'm with them. Ask me who I'm with, I'm with them. But it was a woman, now a real gentleman. Don't need a label when I'm lying on the skin. Ask me who I'm with, I'm with them. Love is love, no matter what. Just teach before you touch. Speak up for what you want. Yeah.